Hi friends good morning and welcome to the gospel reflections this sunday we celebrate the feast of the holy trinity the mystery of the holy trinity teaches us that there are three distinct persons in one god sharing the same divine nature in today's gospel what we read is the follow up explanation to jesus conversation with a pharisee named nicodemus jesus tells nicodemus that no one can enter the kingdom of god without being born of water and spirit jesus is essentially explaining baptism which we celebrate as a sacrament today god the father out of love for the world sent his son into the world in order to save it as three persons god acts always as a god of love he does not condemn the world but saves it on this day we focus on the unity shared by the members of the trinity although the idea of one god in three persons remains a mystery we have the assurance that as jesus and the father share all Jesus and the Spirit share all. The mystery of the Holy Trinity is a basic doctrine of faith in Christianity, understandable not with our heads but with our hearts. St. Augustine wrote, You see the Trinity if you see love. In our own human limitations, we can never fully understand the mystery of the Trinity. three persons in one god existing in communion of love though wounded by the effects of sin god's grace helps us to purify our hearts and our motives to conform more fully to the communion of love there is only one god we live in him and he lives with us and he lives in us All prayers in the church begin in the name of the Holy Trinity and end glorifying the Trinity. All sacraments are administered in the name of the Holy Trinity. We bless ourselves and the priest blesses us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We see the Trinity as God. the model for our christian families we are created in love to be a community of loving persons just as the father son and the holy spirit are united in love from the day of our baptism we have belonged to the father son and the holy spirit we belong to the family of the triune god the love unity and joy in the relationship among the father son and holy spirit should be the supreme model of our relationships within our christian families our families become truly christian when we live in a relationship of love with god and with one another thank you for listening to god's word this is father jimmy matthew mission director frc philippines Remember the family that prays together stays together wish you a graceful week see you again next week bye for now and god bless